Welcome Virtual War Veterans, my name is Chris and today we'll be continuing playing Decisive Campaigns Ardense Offensive. This will be the turn number 7, uh, we'll just open access turns right away. Now, this is the afternoon of day 2, after that there's again a night turn, second night turn, so we probably will establish our line and uh, before we establish our line I don't even know what happened on the front line, so let's hope everything went well. Now what's... Um, Germans try to do is to surround us around uh, Saint Vint and in, they pushing towards Bastogne if I remember correctly now so it's as I said it's afternoon it's a mist so our airplanes cannot fly and uh, looking in the future uh, light participation and heavy participation so, so let's not rely on uh, airplanes <laughs> that's for sure uh, let's see okay so that's the, that's the scary part um, Axis has 63 victory points occupied on the map, so it's pretty pretty high score, I would say. And they need 110 for minor victory. Now, due to casualties, we take 8 uh, victory points off of uh, Axis, but the bulge is growing. So, as you can see here, this is the Axis losses. Um, 10,000 Voxglamagers just died for their cause. Um... Another thing is 660 post grenadiers. Okay, so it's, it's a small regiment already. We have 180 um, half trucks, the so armored half trucks. So this is pretty good. 120 greaves. Uh, it it is stacking. It's stacking. Any I'm looking for any big things. Yeah, headsers. 33 headsers. 24 outsers. 24 stugs. Uh, 20 122 millimeter uh, guns now those guns are uh, were russians and then the, the just germans re reuse them due to the shortages in their armament so germans were really good it's a good and bad because they have to use the other equipment to keep the front line going and keep the guys equipped now it's good from recycle <laughs> side of the war but it's very bad for the logistics because you have so many different cartridges so many different calibers so many different units so many different trainings um uh, looking further so six two five panthers five wilbo wins so wilbo wins are normally attached to the ss so that's always good less uh, anti-air they have eventually they gonna suffer when the weather will get better now so 11 11 000, just over 11 000, we have 7500 7600 so it is uh, quite a big difference now now we lost uh, let's say five six thousand units and then massive amount of other equipment now our equipment is a little bit standardized as you can see the list is not as long so that's the that's the one difference between uh, the german army the axis army and the uh, allies army they were much more standardized i wouldn't say they were perfect and of course each unit would try to make their own modifications putting tracks putting wood and timber putting concrete uh, on tanks, I know uh, Stugs were filed with concrete when they were given to finish. So they were just pour concrete all over them. Especially on the front hull. Make them stronger. Traffic going here. But I hope this is just due to the fact that there is there is lots of units. The 7802nd and there is 7 armor now here in Operation 2nd Infantry. This is quite a lot of units. Uh, now, let's just go through the reports. So, supply. Uh, we know that. Supply, 75,000, 76,000. So, quite good supply. Now, small replenishments. Now, the, re the replenishments are slowly growing and growing. So, sometimes before there was just one truck. Now, it's two trucks. 80 units and 76 millimeter anti-tank guns. So, I hope... You know our logistics will wake up and realize that we do need replenishments. Sixty thousand fuel for our operations. We're still holding all of those, but I'm mostly worried about Saint Vint and Bastogne. Um, lots of units still locked. Uh, every time I, 
never checked more or less, but I think that's slowly getting smaller. Now until 18th of uh, December, Airborne Core. So I think the next round, maybe Airborne Core will be ready. What's what's the date? What's where where is where is the date? 17th. Yeah. So Airborne Core, I think, gonna be available next round. Um, task forces, they should be soon. So task forces are mostly in the south. I think they're defending Bastogne. Anything else looking at this? Because we never went through this properly. 20th, 18, 29th of December. Okay, so British coming towards the end of the offensive. Or if they're within 10 hexes, but we prefer them to stay away than the enemy be within 10 hexes. Because 10 hexes from here is, let's say, this city. So we don't want the Germans to be that far. 29th, 29th, 31st. Wow, okay. This is, I think, almost the end of the campaign. Um, and cards received, so we have a new unit. Just go through the units. So depots, the usual. Um, the air is cancelled. Rear area, the usual. And combat units, we have seven... Armored Division, Combat Command B. We'll just place it straight away. We want it as close as possible. So let's put it maybe... Yeah, we'll move this unit. Combat Command A. And we'll replace it with Combat Command B, I suppose. Now. Next thing. Um, order of Battle, we don't need. Um, looking at Strategic Map. As you can see, there is units pushing here. And they are... Going on the highway. So this is a highway to Saint Vint. This is a highway to Bastogne. Um, we need to defend this area. That's for sure. And Marlange. Now this area is where we have 50,000 supplies and 50,000 fuel stored there. And each supply is not that far. Because one is here. There's three supplies here. And there's not much supply in the middle. So uh, as much as he doesn't build supplies. We don't see them then he might struggle in the middle. Okay, let's just go through stats before we uh, start. So, at the moment we have apparently more units than the Germans. Again, British are behind the river, so it's not the reality. Um, let's look at the guns. So, yeah, the slowly the guns are dropping. Our ones are more like stable. Heavy flag on the same level. Infantry, uh, we having more infantry at the moment. Light flag, similar. They lost just small amounts. Uh, motorized, we because we're getting replacements and we're getting uh, reinforcements. That's the word. And um, then it stays more or less on the same level as well. Now tanks, we having much more tanks than them, but the quality is different. Sherman's is not equal to a Panther, unfortunately. Um, so it's 2 to 1. And casualty sustained, just all in total. So um, 2 to 1 as well. Guns. Um, we slowly catching up in terms of guns. Heavy flag, still not as much. Infantry, 4,000 higher. Uh, light flag, 35 destroyed. Motorized. Uh, we need to work on that, but this is mostly SS unit, as I always say. So it's not easy not to crack. And tanks. Yeah, pretty close, pretty close, and their tanks uh, are more valuable than ours. Now just go straight to history, because I try to always the round one is mostly just going through statistics, and then going through the round, and then going through the third army. So let's look. Okay, so this is fourth. So this is south. Um, so RT. Okay, yeah, he surrounded us from all sides, and then he wiped out the unit. So, we lost 440 uh, GIs veterans, 80 GIs greens, 65 trucks, 26 bazookas, 13 MG trucks, um, 23 mortars, and 4 guns. So, this is a massive cost. Massive. This is hundreds, 
to maybe 300 points, just like that. He lost only 30 versus and the other turn after open 1 to 251. We paid dearly for this city. And then we are ma open. So if we wouldn't have the 54th uh, tank regiment, our artillery will have to run, we will have to run, and we will have to run behind the river. This would be our next point if uh, the 10th armored will not show up here. Alright, so there's an attack. And they fall back. Okay, so again, artillery, as you can see, uh, we lost one easy 8 20 infantry, some mortars. Had to be bigger barrage for me to lose a tank. Okay, they stacking. You can see here, there's fifth uh, Falchi Mager, I think. Yeah, they will attack. Look like it at least. Okay, they went to Chiran, I suppose. Wow, okay, we defended from three sides. Wow. We need, had to be really dug then. Um, let's look. So enemy lost a loads of infantry. So this is 200, 320. Four Panzer Shrek, Hetzer and RSO. And we lost six infantry. Some tracks, bazookas, shermans, two priests, jeep, mortars. And uh, yeah, they went on the wrong side of uh, of the outcome. Now this stack is massive. We might use artillery to do that. Okay, so enemy is already here. Um, so I think we need to abandon, unfortunately, the Ethelbrook. Because the enemy is already here. Yeah. We lost two 251s. Sorry, they lost two 251s and we lost the roadblock. Hmm, it's definitely not going as I wanted to. I was really hoping that 4th Infantry gonna hold a little bit longer, but we just don't have units there. 28, um, if the 28 would maybe defend south somehow, but I'm not sure. Um, so there was artillery exchange, we lost one... They lost 175mm uh, outer. We lost some units. This is all the way in the north. Okay, so he tried to surround me again. Now those guys were holding really long time. Those guys and those guys here. Um, if those cities will fall, then we'll have to go into the forests. But somehow we, we are holding and they wasting units away. So this is where the points are being drained. Second infantry, that's where we start holding. That's where it all started. As you can see, this is tiny points. I'm not sure why he's putting them out into the front line. He should, he, if I would be him, I would just uh, not try to um, defend the city. So he blocked me here. And he's art he have artillery in front of me. Yes, so he lost 10 Jaegers and two guns and a mold here. Okay, don't know why he why he put the artillery so close. We have to just wipe it out. All of this. Okay, so he tries to cut me out. But he doesn't know that we have 7th uh, Armored coming at him and the 1st Army subordinate units. Oh yeah, okay. So that's scary. Yep. 1st Assess, I think. Okay, so there was an, an attack, and uh, this is Combat Command B, so this is an event, yes. We got uh, attacked from the city, but uh, we lost nothing, and they lost, because they were going up the hill, um, 
that lost two half tracks, two Tapuma with a 75 millimeter howitzer. So the howitzer which was put on the original Panzer IV, the short barrel, and one Puma. Yeah, for nothing. So this is let's say I think five points. This is definitely five points. It's fifteen points. Um, twenty-five, thirty points, zero. Okay, so artillery just one half truck. If this holds again, then, <laughs> then I wasn't the attack. Was this no? They're just going closer and closer. They just keep trying to fix the bridge. I think. Okay, so he's across the river. Um, okay, we're gonna have to stay. And we have to wrap our units back. Okay, so I've seen him in Travengen. Yeah, it started getting scary. But this is his artillery. So close. I don't know why he keep artillery so close. There's, there's no point for it. Where's that? Yeah, so we fall back from the city into the forest and he had to re rediscover us again. Uh, he lost 40 pioneers, uh, five half trucks and, and a truck. Yeah, and then he come back to the city. And then the dance start, starts again. <laughs> and that's the end of the replay. Okay, so there are some places, but we need to remember that this is 22 guns. Just look how it looks like now. Uh, one, two, three. Not good. Okay, let's just go all the way in the south. And let's start just from the units in the back. Mostly move them. Just always need to check. Yep, like there is one here. We're gonna put it in this city. In Matalange. Now, the enemy is coming from the... West, enemy coming from the east, I mean enemy coming from the north. And our problem is that we don't have units set up. Now first thing is to find the enemy. And I think we're just gonna uh, keep those guys into the seat in the city. Because they're gonna come to us. I want them to come to us instead of me finding them. Um Right? Okay, so I already see them. And farmer. Now how big is this stack? 160, so we cannot uh, push more. Put them behind. We don't know what it is, but um, I think our artillery is just gonna pummel this area. Now, do we want to move those units? I don't think so. This area will have to be rescued. Anything else we want to move? I don't think so. So this is fourth. Artillery can... Yeah, this artillery can only reach here. Let's use it. I don't want to move it. There's no point. Can reach. You can reach definitely. Because this is big, big caliber. Now 10th. Say go in to the city. Now what's your range? Range is 8. Theoretically I can go into height 2. And I can just... Um... You know, unleash on them. Okay, we have the range. Just move those priests are moved. And now combat command A of the 10 farmer. I will send one unit to the vault building. Right, that's a, that's an easy name to pronounce.
now is there's a decision. We can reinforce that unit and put some units into the fields and let them try to hold. Or we can try to fall back. And the next round is a knight. The same with those guys. 3 to 1. 5 to 1, 7 to 1, 9 to 1. How about you? This is Phil Falsham. 2 to 1. Because the problem is the fuel. Let's see, unit and unit details. Um, so, supply. Yeah, the problem is the supply. We're not getting the supply. Because I had before um, supply depot here, but now it's across the river. Merge. Plus those units fight all the time. Back 196. Then we, we will try to hold regardless. Maybe move even closer. Yeah, this city is empty. Okay. Can we see what's in this city? If this city is empty as well, then it's really dumb move. I don't want to go further because I will get ambushed. I think just let, let's just use the artillery first. So, move them up as much as, as possible. So, let's use all um, 40 infantry artillery. That's first. And those ones as well, if I'm not mistaken. Not a, not as much. Looking at it, it's, it's lots of artillery going. Not many reach the target. Uh, 198, one flag filling, two trucks, and 20 Vosgrenadiers. That's that's not satisfying for me. Right. You can good Let's see one anti air How about you guys? Maybe two of you will attack units in the north. Two hundred seventy-seven and seven hundred thirty-six. Two hundred thirty-six. Okay, and we can see some mortars in the area as well. Twenty. Okay, so that's more or less all of our artillery. Um, let's see. Can we do anything? Eleven to one. Um, I think we have to. <laughs> They're just crossing the bridge all the time. I think we have to. And now we lost five bazooka. Again, bazooka is a, almost like a penal squad. They always die. Um, Ten GI's greens. An engineer. A Sherman. Four. 90 Volksgrenadiers with cars. 98s. Five trucks. What's that? Uh, RSO. Three half trucks. 50 pioneers. 50 uh, Volksgrenadiers with assault rifles and yeah one on, one of each of anti-air and one uh, Granada Werfer. So this unit is not capable of any offensive action. 276, the thing was have heavy losses already. Uh, 
I'm really tempted to start going forward, but if they would abandon the city, I can go around them. Maybe we'll do some recon. Yeah, let's just go with eight. Oh, so we know what's here. Just some weakling unit. Yeah, that's why I was going with the eight. Because uh, sometimes if you use it on one unit, then, uh, you know, all the, all the regiment can see it. So there's a unit here. And we just don't know where it is. There is something here in heavy forest, so it's good we checked. I think maybe let's finish this unit just once and for all. It shouldn't survive this barrage. Yeah, so it's just uh, 10 Nacht Trooper and then two tractors. Yeah, two tractors, two trucks, and 10, 10 Nacht Trooper. So this unit can do nothing. So now we're waiting for the enemy here. I think he's gonna push, even that he, because he thinks he can reach our artillery. That's that's my guess. Then we can just when this units will gonna establish, then fourth will take over, and then all of the tenth will start moving west. Maybe fight with the Falchimagers. Speaking of which, use all our mortars and our artillery. We're not gonna rebuild this bridge. Very important, this bridge is not fixed until we want it to be fixed. So 70 pioneers, uh, one half truck, so there's no more half trucks for them. Uh, four trucks, one Opel Blitz, and one motorbike. Yep, so 16 only left. 2 to 1, 9 to 1, 12 to 1. Let's wipe it out. Heavy casualties, I would say, for the wiping. So one bazooka and 60 infantry for most of what they had. Again, it's not capable. Now, if this unit crosses, then we are screwed. So I just put the blocking force. Not gonna give you much, but always give you something. I think we're gonna give the lead. We have bits and pieces of the units. So combat command A. Are you in my radius? I know you are. Sixteen percent? They should get sixteen percent, yeah. You have anything? Not really. But sixteen percent is good. What we really need. So first nine to one, ten to one, twelve, fourteen to one. Yeah, let's let's just wipe you out. That's that's a really short attack. Fifteen infantry for ten. Ten units. Try again. The click attack. Uh, we lost one mortar, one bazooka, and one half truck for one mortar and ten volume ideas. Okay, what's what's going on here? Not sure. That human, that unit might fall. That would. <laughs> That would be a problem. Five to one. One to two. Uh, let's just stay where you are. Let's just send other combat commands. They're not combat commands, task, task forces. All right. Cannot reach you. Hmm.
Well, the only thing left is to fall back. That's light forest. That's heavy forest. Or else. So they were gonna take the city as much as we prevent it, but they have a few things. Yeah. Let's move you into the city just in case. Now those guys, can I stack more on you? Theoretically I can, maybe we will, so we have some fresh unit in the group. I'm gonna give you a recon. There's no nothing here. Wow. Uh, that's for free. I like that. Oop. Yeah, let's just let's hold the city. So now those those guys are cut off. And we see a very first. And there's Pioneer's Battalion here. That was a good, good recon mission. So, so far it's again 2 to 1. A little bit even more than 2 to 1. Um, but what you got, what you guys think? What What's going to happen in the south? Did the Fal fifth Falschmager will occupy the... What's the name of the city? Kalmanberg? Which we, we will lose Etherbrook before our units will fight the Phil Falschimegarov. I think they will. If we not if we not establish defensive line soon, and we're not gonna win this defensive battle, then it it will be a problem. Let's see supply. Is the supply not reaching them? Supply is coming from here into here. Yeah, we will have to have some supply this area, really. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to finish uh, here, at least this episode. Then going to look at the map and probably after a while record another one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next time. Thank you very much and bye bye.